standard 6 maths class today we will continue lesson number 5 decimal fractions today we will solve practice set 14 question number 1 write the place value of each digit in the number 378.02 part observe the table in this table they have given places 100 place tens place unit place tens place hundred place and thousand place and digits are given here and then here they have written place values if we multiply these places by digits we get its place value first the place value of 3 is 300 here the place of 3 is 100 so we have multiplied 3 by 100 so we get 300 so place value of 3 is 300 that they have given come to the next digit 7 the place of 7 is tens so 7 we have to multiply by 10 so we get place value of 7 that is 70 Now come to the next digit that is eight. Place of eight is unit. So eight we have to multiply by one. So the place value of eight is eight. Next digit is zero, and the place of zero is ten place. Means one upon ten, ten part of unit. So this zero we have to multiply. By one ten, so the place value of zero is zero. Next digit is two. The place of two is hundred place. So we have to multiply two by one hundred. So two one the two and your hundred. Two upon hundred is. Written as zero point zero two, so the place value of two is zero point zero two. Next digit five. The place of five is thousand place, and the place value of five is zero point zero zero five. In this example, they have multiplied five by one upon. Thousand, so we get five upon thousand, and it is written as zero point zero zero. Now we will solve question number second. Here we have to add these two numbers: nine zero five point five plus twenty seven point one nine seven. Line up the numbers properly. First, write down nine zero five point five. By writing second number, see that decimal point will come below decimal point, and write down the numbers which are left side seven two, and then right side numbers are one nine seven. After five, they have not given any decimal place, so you have to put zeros, and then do the addition. Always. Start addition from right side. Zero plus seven, seven. Zero plus nine, nine. Five plus one, six. Put the decimal point below the decimal point. Five plus seven, twelve. Carry one. One plus two, three, and nine. So the sum is nine hundred and thirty-two point six nine seven. Second question you have to solve in your notebook by using same method. Now we will solve third sum. Here we have to add three numbers. Now line up the numbers properly according to places. First number is forty. Here they have not given any digits and decimal point. So put decimal point here. Observe these numbers. Maximum decimal places here. One in second number. Observe third number. Here the decimal places are three. One, two, three. So we have to put three zeros here. 
after decimal point. Now we have to write second number, twenty-seven point seven. Line up the decimal point, then seven two. Right side, the number is seven. Most these students are doing mistake here. So while writing the number, you have to check the decimal point and immediately. Right side of the decimal point, the digit is seven. So write down this seven below this zero. And here they have not given any digit, so put zero. Third number is two point four five one. Put decimal point, then two. Right side the numbers are four, five, one. And now do the addition from right side. Zero plus zero plus one. One zero plus zero plus five five zero plus seven plus four eleven carry one put decimal point here and then do the addition one plus seven eight plus two ten carry one one plus four five plus two seven so your answer is seventy point one five one. So, student, understood how to do the addition in decimal fraction? Now we will solve question number three. Subtract. Here we have to subtract two point three four five from eighty five point nine six. Arrange the numbers properly. Line up the decimal point. Write down the numbers according to their places. Here we will start. Subtraction from smallest place. So, can we subtract five from zero? No. So we have to borrow one from six. You will cut down zero. Write down zero. Cut one from six. Write down five. Put one. We get ten. Ten minus five. We get five. Five minus four. One. Nine minus three. Six. Put decimal point. Five minus two, three, eight. So the answer is eighty-three point six one five. Second sum you have to solve of your own. Now we will solve third example. Two hundred point zero zero five minus seventy point one eight six. Arrange the numbers properly. Line up the decimal point and start subtraction from smallest place. This can be subtract six from five. No. So cut one five and write down here five. Can we borrow one from this zero? No. So go to next place. Can we uh, borrow one from this zero? No. So go to unique place. Can we borrow one? No. So go to tens place. Here also zero. So we cannot borrow. Now go to hundred place. So from this two we can borrow one. So cut one from two. Write down here one. Cut this zero. Write down ten. Cut one from this ten. Write down nine. And then put one here. Nine. Then again here ten. Nine. Cut this zero. Ten. Now we have to borrow one from this ten. Cut one. Write down nine. Then put one. So. We get fifteen. Now you can subtract six from fifteen. Fifteen minus six, nine. Nine minus eight, one. Nine minus one, eight. Put decimal point. Nine minus seven, two. Nine minus one, eight. And one as it is. So what is your answer? One hundred and eighty-two point eight. One nine. Understood the subtraction. The remaining sums you have to solve in your notebook. What problem we will learn in next?